Keep it simple. If I lay my hands on you, the power of God is going to go through you and fix you. Will you, will you help me a minute? But I'm going to ask you to do something special. Whatever you do, don't let me pray for you, okay? <laughs> okay, what do you want me to help you? Just stand here and don't let me pray for you. Do you understand? Do you understand what I said? Is that too complicated? Do I speak in tongues? Or somebody interpret that. Don't let me pray for you. Whatever you do, don't let me pray for you. Now, do you understand? How you doing, young man? Right now, in the name of Jesus, what the... What are you doing? <laughs> I told you not to let me do that. You didn't pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like to demonstrate the joy of the Lord looks like it's his strength too. Oh boy. Can I help you? More Jesus. More Jesus. More Jesus. More Jesus. Did we rehearse this? <laughs> Healing from head to toe, set him free, Jesus. Amen. Amen. See, as our brother was bragging about Jesus, when you lift Jesus up, guess what happens? He does it again. Amen. When you start sharing testimonies, what Jesus has done through you before, he just duplicates it. Amen. <laughs> I warned him. He did better than anybody ever had. I didn't even get to say anything. Do you know the Bible says lay hands and believe? How many words are in that? Same number I used. I wasn't even talking to him. I was ignoring him. And I told him to not let me do that. See, that should break you free. Can you get somebody healed even when they don't want to? Yeah, if you believe you can. If Jesus, the resurrected Jesus came back now, could he get somebody healed anywhere he went? It would just... You got to think about the resurrected Jesus. That's the one you're supposed to be like, not the old covenant one that lived under the law. I want to un uncork you, make you unleash.